So we are now up to the L row, bag one. And I've been waiting for this bag for a while. Back in November of 2017, there was a post on Facebook from Nancy Yando asking about L3. In the process of investigation, I noticed that there was a difference between L3, L4, and L6 that was extremely similar. And we're going to go over this, but there are some very big cautionary tales in this section. So we're going to sort the row L pack. So we've got the booklet, and we have L1 through L6, and L7 through L13, and the cornerstones and lattices. So these are going to go with my other cornerstones and lattices. And then I'm going to go through here and figure out which blocks are modified and label those in my book. So we have L2 and L4. L2 and L4. Oh, I marked these because I did this once. I've sorted L1, a different L1 and L through L6 to answer the question from Facebook. So I'm doing a whole new one, and I haven't sorted this since last November, and it's currently the end of May, so I don't really remember. So L4, L6, L10, and L12. Okay, so those are labeled. And then the next step is to dump out bag one and get rolling here. So I've just finished dumping out my bag for L1 through L6. And let's get working on sorting the L1 block. From my memory, I, I recall that the issue with this bag was the center squares in three, four, and six, and the bars, the little rectangle things. So I'm just going to be very careful moving forward. And the key to this bag sort is make sure that the paper pieces match the other paper pieces, because some of this stuff does not match the book. It should, but it doesn't some places. So I'm going to start sorting my little rectangles out, and I'm looking for pieces that go in here. And there's a lot of different size squares. Here's some triangles. Nowhere near the right size. So I'm going to get some pieces sorted and put some here, I think. this Is this the right, right width? Okay, so this is the right width for this outer border. So it's just a matter of finding the right lengths. So now I've got all my L1 pieces in place. These are all the right size in the book. There are six squares that I found that were the, all the same size. So there's two in the center here and the other four are going to go over here. So I'm going to label these and then I can mark them for focus fabric. Um, when I was doing these bars, there is a lot of these bars and lots of different lengths. So be patient. If you're not coming across the ones that fit into this section, they are in there and they are the right size in the book. So just keep sifting through the pile. So I've got all my pieces labeled with L1. Now I'm going to mark for focus fabric and these big squares and then the center squares and then this tiny one's background and the ones around it are focus fabric. And then these are background, and then that's background, and this is focus fabric. So those are my pieces. I'm going to check for direction, and I do have a directional fabric. So I'm going to label my arrows, and then I will be ready to put this in the baggie and move on to the second block. On to L2. L2 is a modified block, so the new configuration is in the book and it's been modified significantly and simplified in my opinion. So we have, I'm gonna take one the one paper layer out of here and just use that so it doesn't get all puffy. So the pieces stay on better. All right, so I have a pile of squares here of various sizes. So I'll go through these 
and see where we stand. That looks promising, but I will check it. I have these double-ended arrow things here, and these are gonna go in each one of these. And then I gotta find the little triangles for the outside of that. And then the big triangles, which I don't know that, I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. This looks to be like a bunch of triangles, so. And there's a couple different ones out here, so I'll work with these and see what I can do. So I'm sorting through the squares, and there's an obvious set of five that don't have anything that's, there's there's some stuff that's close, but it's, it's clear that it's not the same size. So I'm just gonna keep going with the placement of my pieces. I've found all of the little eight uh, triangles as well. So a note about the large triangles in the corner of this block. You have, there are four triangles that are one size and there are two that are slightly smaller. And when I say slightly, I'm thinking like 30, 64th of an inch or so. So this is the size that I'm using on the block and there's four of these and there's two of these. And this is the difference. So you line up the points exactly and you get this very, very slight difference. I mean, teener peener size. That's it. And you can line this up at the edge and line this up and you can see this is not matching exactly, but it's easier to tell if you match up the points exactly. You can see that, but that's only the, the only difference. The reason this stuff matters is because if you have a bunch of pieces that are that much off, that grows into an, a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch. Or the more of these that are a problem in your block, the bigger the error is going to be, and it's going to either it's going to make your block grow and not match up right, and then you're going to have real problems when you go to put it all together. So even though this doesn't look like a huge issue. It is because the more you're off in one section, it just continues to be off in the rest of it. So don't be off to begin with. And this is why this is so picky. So these four, four triangles are the ones that are correct. And I'm going to put these on my outside points. So there's all the pieces for L2 in place with all the little guidelines. And so I'm going to mark these. L2 and then I'll be ready to mark them for focus fabric. So now I'm ready to mark the focus fabrics and we're going to refer to this picture. So we have the center block as background and then we've got four focus fabrics around that. Two, three, four and then these lines coming out from the middle are also focus fabric. Two, three, four and they have eliminated these little triangles here. And so what we're looking at is we're looking at background focus fabric. So this section here with the radiating outsides, you have a decision and either way it's gonna work. You can, you can use these as background and thus just featuring this plus sign with this X configuration or you can turn these into focus fabric and then you'll have the, the background pieces will be these little triangles in here plus the square. So that's up to you. I don't know what my fabric is. So I'm gonna wait until I get my fabric in front of me to make that decision. So I'm gonna make a mark on here. So I've got I don't know if, again, I don't know if it's directional, so I'm going to label for direction, but I'm going to put background or focus question mark. So I know that once I get to this block prep, I can make that decision. I will have the fabric in front of me. So I'm going to label all these for direction and which ones are for background or focus fabric. I'm going to bag this up and move on to my next block. Now we're up to L3 and L3 is the first issue that we had with this bag sort. So in order to remember what the solution was, 
I went back to the Facebook post on my phone and I looked up to see and it says the problem with L3 is L4 and L6. The actual middle square for L3 is smaller than the book drawing. I know this because the side triangles for L3 exactly match the smaller L3 square. See photos and comments. So I have a picture here of this is an L4 square. The L4 square matches exactly this drawing. So the one that matches exactly in the book is actually for L4. And then there's one that's smaller that's actually the L3. And we're going to go through that. And then on top of that, you have an issue with the bars. So the middle square for L4 is the exact same size as L3 book drawing. To make matters worse, one of the strips for L3, which is one of these, is very, very close in size to an L L6 strip. This is makes sorting very difficult. And so this is L3 strip versus L6. And the reason this comes in, this is even an issue is because if you see here, this unit that matches, and this is the actual unit for L3, is smaller than the line. So the bars you are going to look different as well. We're going to get to this point, but we just got to make sure that we find it here. So I'm going to go through here and look for blocks that are almost the same size and the same size because I'm just going to need the other one for L4 and see how we're doing here. So this one is exactly the same size. This must be the L4 block center. And then based on the information I had earlier, this must be the actual L3 block. So I'm going to assume that this is the L3 block and you see how the smaller that is? That's going to affect everything else going around it, but we're going to explain this. So functioning from the standpoint that I'm assuming that this is the L3 block based on my information from November, I'm going to look for the side triangles here. Now here's the proof that proves that this is for L3. These are the only four triangles that come close to the size of this, but these are smaller than the triangle drawing in the book. As you can see here, if I put this point there, it's significantly smaller, but so is this square. So how do I know that this is right? Well, this is how I know. This side, as you can see, this side, the hypotenuse of this triangle is the side of the square. This is the square that's too small. There's no other option for this triangle to be in this pack. All the other triangles are larger. This matches this side exactly, which is exactly what's supposed to happen here. If I try to put this triangle on the block that actually fits this hole, this triangle is going to be significantly smaller, and that's not going to help you out at all. So this... I don't know if you can see that, but this has got, on the edges here, if I put one edge to the very point, the one point to the very edge, it's easier to see. See how much this is still short, but if I center it, it's still, you know, there's a little bit on each side. So this is how I know that this is wrong. So this fits this square exactly. So I'm going to set this up here in one of the corners. So I'm going to I'm going to line this up with one of these corners here. Just to say, you know, but it's not going to line up with everything. You're going to you're going to end up with a square the exact same size as these edges. Believe me. So let me get this all set up here because I had this set up earlier. And it's going to take, this is where the stiletto is going to really matter. And within this big pile of thin bars is my bars for the 
next section. So this is going to take me some time to line up right. So now how do you move on from here? Well, we have these bars <laughs> and they're interesting to sort. The idea is to line this up exactly and find the bars that span this distance knowing that they're different pieces of paper. So I found a bar that fits exactly. I also found a bar that's a bit bigger and this is where the L3 to L6 thing comes in. So this is the one that's correct. And this is another one that's very slightly larger. And you might be inclined to use this one if this is not lined up exactly. These are for L6. So you need to find two of these exact same size things. So I haven't finished sorting these out. And that one's slightly smaller. So you have you have three sizes of this thing that are very, very close. And they're lined up on the bottom. So, yeah, but the middle one is the correct one. So I'm just gonna keep digging until I find the right one. So there's two that are the correct side, size, excuse me. There's two that are smaller and there's four that are slightly larger. So I showed you the stair step thing. Now I've got four that are the same size of a larger size. And so then two of them go on this side and two of them go on the other side. That's how we work this. And then there's two that are longer yet. I think they're these particular pieces, but we shall see. So this is sort of log cabin. You don't assemble log cabin from two sides at a time, but this is close. And then let's see about these. So notice I'm building from the middle. All right. So then the next thing is these arrow deals to make sure that they're all the same size and then they fit in around the edges with triangles and see what triangle size I need. So it looks like the width is correct. Oh, the size is two. So it's a matter of finding the right triangle that completes this set correctly. So, finally, I have this lined up. It's taken me about six to eight attempts to get this lined up like this, even though it's not quite exactly lined up, but it's the same size as the block, as I said it would be. So now I have to go through and label these, and of course, while I label these, everything's gonna shift, but I'm gonna label these L3, and then once these are all labeled, I can mark my focus fabrics. So I've got all my pieces labeled L3, and I'm gonna mark the focus fabrics. So the focus fabrics are the triangles surrounding the center square. And then the layer outside of that is background fabric. And then the next layer is focus fabric. Okay, so wait a minute. This is, this is background, background, background. So this is focus fabric. This is focus fabric. This is focus fabric, okay? And then the triangles nested inside of here are focus fabrics. And that is all. I'm gonna label for directional because I don't know my fabrics yet because they're in a different pack. So I will label, actually, I'm gonna label these as a radiating pattern because of the way this is laid out. It'll be a lot easier to line up a radiating pattern rather than 
something on a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to finish labeling these. And this is the problem. It slides around. I'm going to finish labeling these and bag them up. Next is L4. And L4 is the one that has the square that was the same size as L3. But it's modified. So there. There we go. That's the center square for L4. So we've got the little borders around the edges here are enlarged, and that's why the square in the center is smaller than it is in the book. So this pile of pieces here, I'm going to pull all the little sections out and surround this, and then I've got squares, which I think these are the, these are they, and these are the other the other four squares that were the same size as the two squares from L1. So this is where the other four go. So then it's a matter of finding the four rectangles and the little bars that go in these sections. So I found all of the L4 pieces. There's one piece here that was a single, that was the only length that they had of this one. And I had that sitting right here. These two pieces are the same. And these are the two pieces that were smaller than the L3 bars that we had the stair steps and the ones that were larger are right here these are for L6 and then these were straightforward there's four of these and this was the smallest oh wait no this in this is the same size as these four so you'll have five of this size four of that size two of this size that you were able to find during your L1 sort and one of this size. And these four are the same size as well. So I'm going to label my L4 pieces, and then I'll be ready to mark my focus fabrics. So I've labeled my pieces, and now I'm going to mark my focus fabrics. I'm going to refer to the picture. So all of these borders are background, and everything else is focus fabric. So the large pieces are focus fabric. The rectangles, the center square, and the outside squares. And then I got a label for directional since I don't have my fabric out here. And then I will bag this all up and move on to the next block. Next is L5. L5 is going to use all the extra triangles I have because L6 doesn't have any triangles. L6 also does not have any squares. All of these are rectangles. So any squares are going to go here. I have a set of four squares that are going to be one, two, three, four. These are the two triangles that were a little different size than the other four, and I mean little different size. They were very close. So I got these two here, the four squares, and I have one, two, three, four, 8, 10, 11, 12, 16 triangles that I'm assuming are all the same size. So I'm going to go through here and make sure that they're all the same size just because they should be, but I want to make sure. So all of the leftover triangles were exactly the same size, and there were 16 of them, so I placed them in their spot on L5, and now I'm going to label my pieces, and that will let me be ready to label my focus fabric locations. So I got all my pieces labeled and now the large triangles are focus fabrics and then these pieces here and these pieces here and this one and this one and then I'm going to label for direction and I'm going to label on a 45 degree angle because of the way these points work out. It doesn't really matter which way you label as long as you label consistently so everything's the same direction. It doesn't have to be a specific direction, just the same direction. So, and then I got these two pieces here. And then I'm going to bag this up and move on to the last block. 
L6 is the last block and there's a lot of pieces left, but as you can see, there's a lot of pieces in L6. It is modified and that has cut down on the outer pieces, so it's been modified down to this. So pick a pile of pieces that you have left and work your way from there. Got all these little teeny tiny bars, little bit tiny rectangles. So I'm gonna start with the larger rectangles, which larger seems to be a relative term and find out exactly where all this stuff goes because that does not go there so it's just a matter of assigning the right pieces to the right location now i got all my l6 pieces assigned to where they go and i'm going to sit here and label all of them and then i'll be ready to assign focus fabric marks so I've got all my pieces marked and now I've got to label my focus fabrics. This is my focus fabric layout, keeping in mind that this border has been removed as has this one. So all I've got left is what's between this white frame in this picture. So my focus fabrics are these large pieces in the middle and then these pieces here and then we've got these little squares, or they're rectangles, but these pieces, these little tiny pieces in the center here. And then this corner. So we've got this rectangle and this rectangle. And this one. That means this one too. So the corner pieces, the outer corner pieces, not the little short ones, but these pieces. Okay, so I've got these three pieces outside outside corner center corner center corner center corner center now i'm going to label for directional because again i don't know what my fabrics are and i'm going to label as the up arrows i will then bag up this l6 block and i will be done with the first bag of my l row packet